Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 10th episode of Woka Style. Can you believe it's been 10 episodes, y'all? No. Time flies when we're having fun, for sure, for yeah. sure. But yes, 10 episodes and counting. We have just been having a great time. Um, tonight, we're going to be talking a little bit about women of a certain age and um, travel. Um, I'm if you're like me, I, in my mind, believe that I'm an avid traveler, um, but I'm not. <laughs> I probably haven't even touched the surfaces of um, where our special guests will be telling us about tonight. But before we get started, I would be uh, remiss if I didn't introduce our co-host and our creator of Woka Style, Miss Cass, and my co-host, um, Sonia. Hey. hey, so hey. tonight, like I stated, we're going to be talking about travel. We wanted to make sure that we touched on a little bit of everything that we think that our WOCA audience will be interested in. Um, and I felt like I knew two perfect people to ask to come on and share some of their experiences, tell us about some of the things that they uh, encounter, good, bad, so that we can kind of have an idea um, if that's on our bucket list. I know I have a bucket list. So yes. uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce Robin. Robin is in the in the education industry. Um, Robin has uh, done all, everything. She's been married. She's had beautiful kids. She's got a grand, beautiful daughter. Um, and I you know, like all of us, we've had our lives, marriages, divorces, uh, re <laughs> yes, yes, branding, yes, honey, <laughs> rebranding ourselves. So, you know, um, at this age, we we do find ourselves trying to find other things to do with our time and um, and and with our free time and uh, to com to complete our lives is what I would say. Um, so, Robin, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. I am just a privilege and an honor to be on your uh, podcast tonight. And she forgot to add that she's my beautiful cousin. So, uh, well, I would yes. That in there too. We uh, are so. related. We have, yes, I guess we are. We have two relations now because Cassandra and Sonia are also cousins. So, we don't tell so. people that. We don't, <laughs> we don't well, claim they know each now. Well, <laughs> we don't claim know each other. Now. We're not claiming each other this week. <laughs> not this week. Okay, okay. But anyway, thanks, Robin, for joining us. And we're excited to talk about all of your worldly travels. Um, and so, yes. I also no, to dive have, in. Go ahead. Yeah. No, no to so dive also, in because, uh, Go ahead. No, I was going to say to just dive in because we are talking about solo travel. I would say um, I have now been divorced 13 years. I got divorced in 2010. And so in 2010, I thought about like, what was my first travel experience? And yes, as uh, Sharita, our facilitator mentioned, I have been around the world and I will touch on that, but to really experience how to be by yourself and do something, uh, we have a mutual family member and uh, I was kind of ashamed to go to Thanksgiving because I was newly divorced and I didn't want everyone asking me wow. like questions, where's your husband, where are wow. the kids, because that Thanksgiving. My kids were with my husband at that time. And so um, I just did not want that attention. And so I went to a mutual family friend's home in Atlanta, Georgia. While he went to Louisville, I did like a vacation in his empty home. Uh, I'm an oh. avid cycler. I love to cycle. I packed my bike up, put my bike in the car and I literally uh, one day left his house. I met a complete stranger. And if anybody knows me, which leads to my travel experience, I meet no stranger. Um, mm -hmm. I was actually on a run at that time. And I saw a man yeah, on his bike. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a man 
<laughs> on his bike. And I was like, where do you cycle around here? Because my cousin lived in Stone Mountain, I want to say Stony Mountain, Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. Georgia, Georgia, yeah. And I was like, where do you cycle around here? And he looked at me crazy because I was in running gear. And um, I was like, I want to go biking. And he's like, you really got a bike. I was like, yeah. He's like, you got cycling shoes where you clip in. I was like, yeah. So basically he was sizing me up wondering like, cause back then that was not even a big thing for black women to be cycling like yeah. that truthfully. So yeah. I ran back to the house, got all my gear, my bike, my bike and shorts, my cycling shoes, my helmet. And he waited for me. Because I'm, again, stranger but smart. I was not going to take him to my family member's home, being a woman. And I made it back there to uh, meet him. And we rode literally about 20 miles. So all of that to say, um, I started domestically building my confidence because I think that's where it all starts. You can't have fear when you go about this type of adventure uh, in thinking about traveling or exploration, you have to be willing to take that first step. And as I stated, being newly divorced, um, that was a first step for me to say I was used to having a husband with me or child. So it's like, I have to have the will to live. And so let me get used to going by myself places. And right. so after that, yeah, the door. I am so glad really you mentioned that. Up. Oh right. my god, yeah, so many women are going to be able to relate just to what you said. You have no idea how impactful yep. that is. What you just said, I can relate to that having stepchildren and having a husband who had children that, that he had every other. And it's like, what do you do with yourself on a holiday when you don't have the family there? I love, love, love that you mentioned that. <laughs> no, that that took a lot of guts, Robin. Uh, just to, you know, and it's yes. very true. And just what Sonia said, I'm so many of us, you know, are experiencing those very same things, but they don't know what their options are. They don't know how to start. They don't know. Well, what they just they stay home doing. alone. The yeah. Fact yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I know oh, it's yes. true. It is. It is. Well, thank you for sharing that story. Um, we, we're going to, we're going to, I know there's more stories we're going to get into them for sure, for sure. And thank you so much for opening up with that. I, I knew you guys would be great for this. Um, our other guest host tonight is a, um, a, um, well, she used to be, she's no longer a Detroit city, um, police officer. Um, she's now changed her career and uh, she's still in the security um, industry, but uh, no longer a cop. So um, Danielle has definitely done her domestic tra travels and uh, international travels and her pictures are amazing. And we'll be sharing some of those tonight with both Robin and Danielle. But Danielle, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, as we always do, you know, we like to come on, we like to have at least someone who we think uh, we, we have credentials. Uh, we do a little stats. Um, and so in my stats, I, I went back and did a little bit of research and um, I wanted to let, you know, our viewers see that um, the Ta Travel Industry Association reported that an estimated 32 million American women travel alone every year. Wow. 32 million. Yeah, that. wow. that's amazing. I know. Yeah. And then according to the 2022 research, 80, 86% of those solo travelers are age 35 or older. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the average age of today's solo woman is 47 years old. And then they decided to throw the little tidbit in there and she wears a size 12. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know why say. they decided to throw that in there, but Listen. I was like, okay. Uh, whatever. Yeah. Yes. So, and she also wears a size 12 dress. So I, I'm assuming that that means that, you know, we, it's not just your typical um, white, female, thin, straight laced person. It is women of all nationalities. And, you know, so they wanted to kind of get that out there. 
Well, I'm um, going to say come through black women because I would love the stats yeah. on how many black women are out here <laughs> traveling alone. Okay, well, that is that. Yeah. Is, okay. That's that the that is very okay. Well, that's balls for y'all that don't speak. <laughs> just this is true, that. Sonia. <laughs> okay. This is true. Well, I did not get the number of African American women, but I did get this. <laughs> Check this out. The average solo traveler in the U.S. is 47 years old. And Black Americans are contributing a whopping $109.4 billion, with a B, dollars to the leisure travel space. Our dollars are like, you know, that means something. You that said billion. Yes. yes, yes. So that's some serious, and that's some serious to, moolah. And it's mm -hmm. good to see that it's going to something too, other than like clothing and things that are not Don't matter. fleeting. Mem yes, that are yes. going to be fleeting. Yes. Things that, let me tell you, when you do something that that is lasting, that, that creates a memory, there is no material object that you can purchase that can replace that. Absolutely I not. Always I always Amen. say, give me an experience because yes, yeah, that's true. That is very give true. Give me an experience. Give me. It's all experience. about the experience, right? I mean, I even know. like even like Mother's Day is coming up. Yeah. I really, I mean, flowers are nice. Yes, but a trip would be nicer. <laughs> yeah. Amen. It really would. Because really that flower is going to be dead in two hours, <laughs> twenty nine yes. seconds. This but that true. travel memory is going to last you forever. Forever. Yes. Yes. And I the jewelry that. and the shopping, because you yes. know, if you go, you're going to have to bring back gifts and tchotchkes. So, yeah, I, I, you know, the memories alone are going to be amazing. Oh, yeah. Um, but, ladies, I want to ask uh, Robin, you kind of gave us a little bit of how your first um, adventure started. Danielle, could you tell us a little bit of how you, how you started your first? Yes. excursion solo it, yes similar to robin divorce in 2005 my first solo trip was what? to vegas <laughs> i think i was about 30 30 years old 30 32 something like that uh -huh. and i decided you know what this will be my first time traveling solo period you know how you kind of get uncomfortable people looking at me like am i yeah yeah <laughs> And yeah. I went to Vegas and had the best time of my life and never stopped traveling solo since. Wow. That's awesome. It is. You know, you know sometimes I won't, even, I, I won't even go out and eat by myself, let alone travel. Well, when I see when I see women, like I, I see women out and about like living their best life. Like I will go shopping, of course, by myself. Of course. Of course. But going to a restaurant, ordering food. And just sitting there is so foreign to me. I'm just like, yeah. I can't imagine traveling solo because, you know, but then if you think about it, it's such a peaceful, you know, having to not have to make small talk with, sorry, honey, your husband <laughs> or, you know, your kid. making sure that he's got this matching socks when we go out. Like, I would I love know. that. Like, I feel like that would be such a peaceful experience. Just people bringing me drinks and food and just, I'm, yeah. you know. I'm the object of the attention from me, the me, 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 me. Yeah, yeah right. me, I would me, love me. that. I, is that what your experience is? Have you felt like that? Yes, I actually discovered Danielle. I discovered what Danielle likes, what Danielle likes to do. I got up when I wanted to get up. Mm -hmm. I went to room service when I wanted to go to room service. I actually, you know, back then in Vegas when they gave you the free trips. I mean, not the free trips, but the, the free, uh, rooms. free entertainment. Oh, yeah. Know, I went to my first show by myself and I did a whole lot of things. That's when Vegas was real Vegas. And Vegas now is just about spending money. Yeah, but, you true. know, they gave you free steak dinners and then steak dinners was $5 back then. No, you're not going to find no steak, dollar, uh, steak <laughs> no. dinner for $5 no. now. But that was uh, a long time ago. But, yeah, that's when I, I just yeah. met myself. I, I met Danielle. I, I just enjoyed Danielle. And it started from there. That and can awesome. I say, was it, and, you know, was it empowering for you? Um, because I think I originally was leaning towards the, the, the question, 
um, and I edited it myself, but I'm going to say it anyway. But I was leaning, I was leaning towards like saying, how do you, how do you go solo and not feel like a loser? Like everybody sees me solo. I'm here solo dolo with no one. But I just remember now, if I'm being honest, I remember that in my first marriage, I was solo all the time. Like my, my first husband was unavailable 90% of the time. So I took myself out to dinner. I took myself to the bar if I needed a drink. And it felt like, it felt uncomfortable. It felt like, I hope people don't think that I'm here trying to pick up someone. Oh, I'm just yeah. here because I want to drink and I don't, you know, necessarily have a date or a girlfriend or anybody, but I want one. So I'm going to take myself. But eventually, as I became more comfortable with that, it became empowering for me. Like, how do you how did you deal with um, getting over the hurdle? Because the first time that you travel solo, I mean, you have to feel like, am I the odd? You're like, you're looking around, like, is everybody looking at me? Am I the odd person out? And at one point, did you cross over to saying, this is, this is free. <laughs> it is all about me. I'll say, like I said, I was going through a divorce. It was a tough time in my life. I had, I was a single mom, three children, three little kids. And it, it was just time for Danielle to, it was time to discover Danielle because, you know, I had been a mom all my, all my life, all my, I'll say adult life. And it was time to discover Danielle. And I discovered Danielle then. It was definitely that time where you feel like, oh my God, is anybody looking at me? Or, you know, are they noticing that, I, by, by, that I'm by myself? But I met all I met all walks of life. Like I had so much fun. And I guess you just really have to have that personality to just love people. I, like yeah. I said, I went to the shows, I ate dinner. There was nowhere I went that I didn't meet someone new and actually still friends with some of them to this day. Yeah. So have you Did always you been open to like meeting strangers, like just walking up to people and saying, hi, my name is Danielle. I don't, I don't quite do it like that. <laughs> but <laughs> like if I'm just sitting there and I'm at the bar and you know, you make eye contact, you just talk, you know how when- Well, what kind of eye contact? Are you going like, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> are you batting your are eyes you, <laughs> you know what it, it is funny because last week i tried this new um restaurant and don't even quote me the name because i can't remember right now i'll remember shortly but i'm sitting next to a young lady and her husband and I, they were so cute together i'm like hey how y'all doing you know my name danielle you know she was like i was like what is that you all drinking and what is that you're eating and it took off from there. They were buying me drinks. They bought, bought my food. I mean, Are we just had a good old time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes. that is, see, I would never do anything like that because I'm like, they're trying to have their own. I'm not, I'm not even making no eye contact. I, you know, I'm like, I ain't going to bother them. Because, but you never know who you're going to meet. And we probably close ourselves off when we could very easily meet new people. Mm -hmm. Yes. New yes. amazing people. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Well, I have another question. These are the these are the stories that I really like. So, Robin, could you tell me your worst solo trip? Ooh. My worst. So, I, I was really thinking about that. I would say if that would be the case, it would be the first trip when I went to Atlanta because I was by myself and I was in that dark space of trying to yeah. uh, figure out who I was again. And so uh, having uh, having identity of wife, mom, you know, caretaker and all these things. And now all of a sudden it's just me. And so I would say that was really the most lonely alienating experience uh, for me then. And I, in terms of like having bad experience, like air flights, not work, working itinerary, not falling through. I, I've not really had that. I don't know if maybe because 
I put in the research and do the work. I I just have been fortunate. I've heard people have some really travel nightmare experiences, but knock on wood, that just has not necessarily been my story. I uh, so I'm sorry that you know. <laughs> I, no, I, that's I, great. That yeah, that is good. That is good. So I hope now, you did you do all of your, to, Did you do all of your travel itinerary, or did you use travel agents? I only have ever used a travel agency once. And that again, when I, that was at the beginning of divorce. And that's when I took Maya, my daughter to Jamaica, um, because we afforded our children two trips uh, out of the country when they were in high school and she chose Jamaica. And so I just wanted to make sure all my I's were dotted and T's crossed. But from then on out, I have, I book all my own airline. I book all my own excursions. I research everywhere <laughs> what I want to do. And I think that is also driven by like, what is your passion? What is your experiences? And so for me, I'm a water person. So if I like kayaking, I like stand up pedal boarding. If I like scuba diving, those are the things that um, I go and check out and those different ex ex places where I'm going to visit and see if they offer that. And so from there, I do the research, do the reviews. Um, and it's not for everybody because I have those friends where they're just like, okay, give me my bill. Let me tell you, you're my payment plan where I need to show up and I'm there and that's okay. But, um, I like the research. I like because I know that I'm a different traveler. I know that I'm unique in some of the things that I like to do. And oftentimes I say, I probably am not your average black woman in some of the things that I do. But I do find a lot more black women are doing these things because we're not being bound by our hair. We're not being bound by, uh, um, you know, being afraid of just Finances. trying different things. But oftentimes, Mm-hmm. Yes. So Clearly we open up a lot of too, different yeah. windows of opportunity to, yeah. yes, to say that I'm going to try these things. That's interesting. Very yeah. interesting. So, Danny, what about you? I have not had no bad experience solo because I have nobody to blame but me. But and I've always enjoyed me. <laughs> now, if well, you want to talk about group travel, yes, I've had some experience with group travel, but that was not my fault put it that way i invited people who invited somebody else that made it just ridiculous oh, however really yeah. so you your know bad experiences were more with groups of people is it because there were so many people who wanted to do so many different things or what was it? Or personalities yeah yeah i'll say personalities like a situation where i went to greece and we're taking a group photo and the person that was not invited by me and I hosted the trip, um, <laughs> they, I don't do, want to take a group picture. Don't, <laughs> don't take a picture with me. And it's just like, okay, we, oh. we're all together. How you go on a group trip and you don't want to do group thing, like just a picture. I'm not talking about yeah. doing a group itinerary or anything, because definitely with a group, you don't set an itinerary. You let right. everybody do what they want to do. You just tell them, hey, I'm going to do this on this day. You're more than welcome to come and, you know, let everybody do what they want to do. Because when you're on a group trip, you don't want to be really held to an itinerary. Yeah, that's true. Wow. Yeah, I think I really think that that's a topic of another show. Traveling yeah. with girlfriends <laughs> yeah. because, honey, there are some stories. And that's what not I'm these girlfriends, let's just say women. <laughs> OK, yeah. travel with women. Yes, that would be a good show. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be a that would be doing a anything. <laughs> oh well, then that's that too. No, that's very yes. true. Wow. Well, I know you guys have been to some amazing places, and um, Cassandra is sh sharing some of these beautiful photos. Uh, I think that was you in Greece, right, Danny? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I did a white dress uh, photo shoot. That is oh. so nice. And I think Robin, yeah. we had a couple with you in Paris and Belize. Belize. I somebody, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are nice. Yes. Nice. You guys have been nice. wonderful, wonderful places. Um, now, so Robin, did you go to Belize after Sean became prime minister or before <laughs> Sean became prime minister? Because I, I want to say you, that was in Or do you know, Sean, if you don't. Two years. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know him. Then then never mind. Listen, those who know, you know what I'm talking about. We listen, this is not a political show. No, no, no. Well, Shine's a rapper, okay. but anyway, you yes. know, he's down yes. with you know, he's now the prime, but he's now he was a rapper in the US yes. who was yes. who was uh what do you call that deported? Yeah, uh, back to Belize, and he is now the prime minister, and he's actually doing wonderful. Well, they said that he wouldn't even make it. Yeah, prime. he's doing amazing things oh. for Belize. So I was just curious if you went before or after, because I'd actually like to. I've never wanted to go to Belize, but now I want to go was, and see what he's doing there. Yeah, that was in 2021. So when did he become the prime minister? When was that? I want to say that. But no, it was, then, then you went after. Then you went yeah. while he was prime minister, after. because yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, he was deported was. and he became prime minister pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I, was hero. Say, what I would say about Belize, Belize is definitely the most amazing snorkeling and water. So, if you are into water, it is just absolutely, I mean, steroids on. I mean, snorkeling on steroids. You it, you get a snorkeling experience almost like you were scuba diving. I saw starfish as huge as like uh, a, a sofa pillow cushion. Uh, wow. I saw manatees. It was just so many different things in the marine life. And they do a lot to protect their coastal. And you have to swim to it. You have to be probably a good swimmer or you have life jacket, whatnot. But it's just some of the best ecological system and mirroring life that I've ever seen there. Wow. Can so I, I, so I'm dying to know because both of you have, you know, we've touched on places like Belize and Greece, for instance. Now, anywhere, anywhere that you want to travel to, there are, there's the good and there's the bad. Um, you know, I can think, I just saw a documentary on Belize and they talked about, you know, the crime. They talked about uh, the gangs there. They talked about, um, you know, all of that. And it's so bad. But also then you see the great parts uh, of travel to Belize, which is, you know, tourists. Tourists don't really experience that, experience that because you're not going into like really gang territory. Um also, when you travel to Greece, and now I'm just saying, I, my mother is going to Greece very, very soon. Um, and, and Greece is also on my bucket list. But the one thing I don't want any parts of in Greece is all those damn cats. But <laughs> oh. when, when you go, when you go to these places and you look at the, and you look at the, at the pros and the cons, how do you decide as, as single Black women of a certain age traveling domestically or abroad, how do you determine, like, how to get over the cons and and go with the pros? How do you decide? Because sometimes you can look at it and become stuck. I think it goes back to what I said, research. I was very fortunate. I had a friend that was from there. And so it was very, I was fortunate that she connected me with like family that still live there. And she was able to kind of like give you some of that insight. So you have to be smart. You have to like go on those trip advisories and read. Read yeah. those alerts. You have to be vigilant. You people. know, you can't just like in the U.S. You know, I often tell people the way I operate here in America, I have to be I have to operate like that when I'm there. You can't walk around like you are a victim and um, or you are fearful. You have to use common sense. You know, if they tell you don't be out at late uh, at night, you respect that um, you don't travel to like the ATMs at night. You, you just have to, again, use common sense. And I I found out when I was in Belize, like where those gang territories were. Well, guess what? I'm not booking my hotel nowhere near <laughs> that side of town or visiting that side of town where these gang territories are going to be happening. So it just behooves you to kind of know where you're entering in so that you can uh, prepare yourself. 
So you did all of your research, which makes sense because the security issue for me, I'm, the security here in the States are bad enough. But to be yes. abroad and not know the culture, not know all of the um, the language, that's my biggest hang up. It's like, I don't want to go somewhere where I can't speak the language. I, I can't even say that I've been brand. somewhere where they didn't speak English. I, I can't even right. say that. I mean, even in Greece, they spoke a different language, but I'll say uh, English was their primary language. I think yeah. that um, basically you just listen to the, you you feel it. It's a feeling that you get. When those hairs stand up on the back of your neck, listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Intuition. Yeah. Intuition. Yeah. yeah. That is true. Well, ladies, what what advice would you give um, uh, anybody who's, you know, thinking about um, wanting to, let's say, you know, newly divorced, uh, children, empty nesting, um, you know, you got to kind of start from somewhere. And I know baby steps, Robin, like you said, you, you did your little thing and then it was baby steps and then you felt a little bit more secure and a little bit more, you know, at ease. Um, if you had any, if you if you had three top tips to give Robin, what would you? What would be your best three things that you use whenever you travel? Um, it's uh, I would say be bold. Like you 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 have to just go ahead and book that trip. You can't you can't if you have the financial means if you have the vacation time and you want to do it don't wait for your girlfriends don't wait for just you have to make that decision because other things will not always line up and if it's important to you follow through and do it and that boldness I would also say um, you have to start somewhere and. So yeah. yes, it will put you out of your comfort zone initially, but you meet people by booking excursions, by, you know, those things that you like a cooking class, if it's a walking tour, you know, if you set yourself up with those things that you are interested in, more than likely you're going to find that personality or that individual that is going to be uh, a friend that you could meet abroad. And that's when I said that I don't meet a stranger because oftentimes um, through those experiences and excursions that I find myself, I meet those people and they often say, hey, we're doing this later on. Would you like to come and do this with us? Or, hey, we're like what Danielle said, we are eating dinner at seven. You know, why don't you join our party? Party because you know we're eating and then I'll be honest like during the pandemic I didn't want to be home by myself for Valentine's Day I did not want to be by myself in the blizzard in Indianapolis three days before that I booked a trip to Cancun I'm saying if I'm gonna be sitting in my house by myself I'm gonna be sitting on somebody's beach by myself <laughs> I That's love it true. And for me I love it I was like I like and then I don't think and, and I you know I'm a woman of God so God I date God real well and I date myself real well. And I say often, that's my slogan. I am my best date. You know, I treat myself the way I wanted my husband to treat me. I buy my own flowers. I book my own trips. I don't mind sitting at the table by myself <laughs> with a steak yes. and a glass yep. of wine. And I have yep. my own paparazzi yes. taking pictures <laughs> because they feel like I'm a beautiful woman. And so there let me go. film this while you're here. And it does speak and, and I feel like you you as an individual just show up for yourself show yeah. up for yourself and the hardest thing like anything working out or whatever you just have to do it like Michael Jordan you just have to yeah. do it <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I love it I love that that is great advice I mean do it you know because if you don't you'll find 19 reasons why you shouldn't yeah. Oh, Can God. I ask you guys, do you guys have have you guys um done cruises? Because that was my entree into travel. And That's my favorite way to travel. Yeah. I'm trying to get girlfriend oh, over there uh, uh, no. uh to do a cruise. Let me tell you something. So even to date, my biggest um the thing that has um that has made me thirst for the world 
is doing um, uh, a, uh, a European cruise. I wish oh, this, wow. my, my, woke, my woke memory is, uh, <laughs> is affecting me. But wow. we, did, we did it. We did it. Um, we did a cruise. We flew to Barcelona. We spent the day in Barcelona, and then and then we cruised to. We went. We went to seven different places in Italy. We mm. went to, you know, we went to uh, about four or five different places um, in France, mm -hmm. and 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 then back to Spain. We did, and it ignited for me, you know, mm -hmm. all of these places that I want to go. So I want to say, I want to ask you, number one, how do you feel about um, cruising? So I just went on a seven day cruise solo, December 2020. Hey girl, how yes. about it? <laughs> now, now tell her whose solo cruise you went on and what capacity. It was a carnival celebrity. It was a brand new ship. It was just uh, launching in December. They had a 50th cruise celebration and literally I just went on carnival. I like Carnival the best. They know how to party on Carnival. I'm they sorry. party. I've been on yes. cruises, but they yes. party on Carnival. Yes, honey. <laughs> because, you know, they go to sleep early on Royal Caribbean. They go yes, out. But they do snooty. <laughs> and when I tell you Carnival Celebration had the best food, girl, they had ribs. I oh, never know for you. Carnival to have ribs. <laughs> They knew you were gonna be on there, yeah. Because Danny can eat, y'all. She might look thin, but sister can get down. Yes, yes. I yeah. actually did. Um, like I said, a seven day cruise. I got this was the first time I got a room on the aft, and I had an extended bal balcony. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. so because when I when I travel, I want the best. I, I oh, I okay. Better than where I'm living. <laughs> that right there. That is yes, very important. I love it. Okay, Absolutely. girl. I haven't, I haven't gotten to that level yet because I'm cheap as hell, but my husband be like, uh, okay, you can be over there in the cheap room, but I'm going to be over there next door to Danielle. No, no. no. You, you cannot be cheap on, on no any trips, period. It's, it's, it's true. I've learned. That's, this is something I've learned. Yes. But listen, if you got to take baby steps, y'all take baby steps, but this is something I've learned. You really, and, and Rob, you said it, you said it best. You have to treat yourself the yes. way you, you really want your significant other to treat you. you yeah. So yep. yeah, that really is a whole other, that's a, that's a whole banner right there. Yes. But yeah, <laughs> but where did you go? So where did y'all go? So, this um, I can't remember exactly. <laughs> You know, was it Caribbean? A was it Caribbean? We can't Caribbean? remember everything, but I was on the seven day cruise. Well, listen, I'm trying to talk Kaz into it. So tell her how wonderful it is. And tell her she's not going to be hurling all over the cruise ship and everything. Tell her this is what she should she, be doing. That looks she like has motion sickness in the car. Listen, so do I. So do uh, I. I have no, motion. I take, a, I take public transportation. Okay. So I have motion sickness. With these New York City, New Jersey drivers driving me, swerving in and out of traffic. But there are things for that. Let me tell yes. you. There are things to patch. Get the patch from your doctor. doctor before you leave. Make sure you make a doctor's appointment and get that um that little patch that you put behind your ear. I had put, the band on and I was fine. You put that on 24 hours before you travel so that it's in your system. And then when you get on a cruise ship, you don't have no issue. And you have to keep it on 24 hours afterwards. Because sometimes when I go on cruises, I get that, um, what do you call it, dizzy sickness. Vertigo. Vertigo. I get that, but I, it don't stop me from traveling. Uh, I'm getting dizzy just listening know, to y'all. girl, stop. Let me just stop. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Kaz. I'm like, no, I got sea legs. I don't like it. The oh my God, you would small. love it so much. Yes. No. I love no. that cruises, you can go multiple locations in one trip. That's you what know I what? Love. I think I probably would do the Houston. Uh, what? Houston go down to there. Corpus. Okay, okay, yeah, Galveston. 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 I cruised from Galveston. We did a cruise from, well, she knows because she didn't go, well, wait, whatever. We cruised from Galveston. It was an amazing, we had an amazing time. That was at, um, 
No, that wasn't my first one, but that was an amazing, that was an amazing time. It does. It allows you to have just a taste of, yeah. of, of all of these places. And if, and, and then it, I already have on my, on my list, I'm like, yep. From the, from the 12 places that I went to on the European cruise on my, on my bucket list is to go back here, here, here. I have at least three places that I want to go back and have an extended experience. Because so, you just got a little taste of them. And I was, yeah, a day out. wasn't one day there because mm -hmm. a cruise gives you a day. Yeah. One day wasn't enough. I want to experience like the culture, the food, the whatever. It was, yeah, absolutely. That is that is not for me, Robin. And I saw so you I've been, been on a couple of cruises. <laughs> Robin, no, right? I don't. I've been on a couple of cruises because I've did the Cozumel, Playa de Karma, the Key West cruise, yes. and then. The second trip for my daughter was the Bahamas and the out of uh, Orlando and whatnot. But again, that wouldn't be my favorite. And you can, so to give you the land version, last summer, as you see on our screen here, I'm on top of a castle. I did the Europe tour. I was 21 days in Europe and I started out in Lisbon, oh, Portugal, yes. in central Portugal. Yes. And then I left yes, Portugal and went to Rotterdam and Amsterdam and uh, spent the North Sea Jazz Festival seeing yeah. Diana Ross and all of your amazing artists. And then took a train to Paris and then flew to Venice, Italy. So you can take, I like the land version because of everything you just said, because I get to really immerse myself in the culture. Mm -hmm. I really get to eat the food and meet the locals and mm -hmm. walk. The I streets. love that. And, and so there's a difference. But then don't get me wrong. Cruises again. It, I, I, when we talk about travel, it is really an individual. It is an individual preference. preference. It's what yeah. you want, what, what is yeah. for you. And everybody yeah. travels differently. And so you have to pick out what is your travel personality. And for me, I'm a land because I'll be ready to jump that ship because I love water. I don't want to be oh, no. on that boat. I'd be like, Try, let me get at that dolphin. Y'all said it was a dolphin outside my window. <laughs> I'm no man swim with that dog <laughs> and see so, i ain't got no business being in the water because i can't swim but i'm the first one when i hop on, <laughs> on a boat with a life jacket on yeah i, mm -mm, no. not I have a question yes yeah i want to know have you guys ever had a stella moment mm. oh stella got a good one <laughs> But the men, oh, look, I would say on, the men come in on, uh, you're Costa the Rica you're were the fine, 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 fine. <laughs> I'm here to sit the tea, girl. If you spill oh, it, I'm sitting her. it. Yeah, she said Costa here, Rica, Danielle, Rica she men. Got the scoop. Oh, I want to go Costa Rica. They were fine, but I didn't have a stellar moment. But Lord Jesus, if I didn't have that driver, I might have thought about it. If I didn't have that guy <laughs> to pick me up. <laughs> if I... That took us, Lord. Well, Jesus, why let him stop you? Just to help. <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I love that, Danny. You're pretty oh, quiet Lord. over there. <laughs> yeah, ladies don't tell everything. <laughs> That's <laughs> very true. <laughs> Listen, we're just amongst ourselves. No one That's has right. to know. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay, Danielle, say less. <laughs> Yes. I'll well, just, I'll just expound on what I'm doing this year for my 50th birthday. What are you I'm doing 50 this year? What are you doing? And I am going on a solo trip to Maldives. It takes two oh, days to no, get there and two go. days to get back. Yes. That's on my bucket list, too. It. Oh my God. Yes. I'm so You're jealous. going by yourself through August 1st. Yes. You're going by yourself? Yes, ma'am. Yes, really? ma'am. What are your goals for this trip, this solo 50th trip? I'm gonna have a stellar moment. I'm not setting any goals. Whatever no. happens, happens. That's ah. the way to do it. That's the way to do it. I love that. I love yes. that. Robin, yes. where's your next adventure? I know you just came back from Phuket. Uh, I hello. did. I just came back from Thailand. I started mm -hmm. out in Bangkok and then went to Chiang Mai and then landed in Phuket, all the different islands. And so my next travel excursion is Barcelona. And I did hear you mention that. 
And so uh, I'll head to Barcelona, probably over to Rome, and then to the North Sea Jazz Festival, Amsterdam, Rotterdam again. And that's going to take place wow. in July. That, um, oh, that, my God. The Back to Europe so Festival is, is fabulous. My, uh, I'm dying to go to Thailand. Yeah. I'm excited yeah, to go to uh, Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know Listen, what? Shout out, to all my, shout out to all my in-laws in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't be choicy. I'm just oh glad to God. be near some Listen, water. Listen, Absolutely. <laughs> and to my that. cousin Sharita's backyard pool, hopefully this summer. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> And Sharita, Rich just said, uh, uh, their pool is. I hope we can get over there when we get to Dallas. Well, I'm not saying hey. I'm, not, I'm not saying anything, but I'm just the saying pool we, is open. It's, it's 93 it's, degrees today, honey. That's it's a whole that's a whole lot of down here. It's yes, hot. no, we are everybody's always welcome, and it's 93 degrees. Today, Listen, so. I have a sweatshirt on because it's still cold up here. Like, oh, it's really? seriously, we had a long, mild winter, it was a long, mild winter, but it's still wow. cold. So, today was like what you know, 50 degrees or 55, but it's like it's May, it's like get over it already. Can we? Can Where we do you live? Life? I'm in New York. I well, I, I'm in New York, New Jersey. The, I'm in the okay. tri-state. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can't you tell that that nice little accent? Yeah. Oh yeah. You can it. It, listen, it comes in and out. It can be it can be New York one minute. It could be down and dirty in the Delta, Mississippi, and then well, listen. My accent is all over the place depending on what I'm talking about and who you're talking with. To. But yes. let me just so so we know where you are what your next travel excursions are, but tell us about like the most extreme trip you've had um, thus far. Now Maldives is a big trip. Uh, definitely Thailand is a big um, solo trip. Yes. But what, what, what trip have you, have you taken the biggest trip abroad that you've taken solo? And, and what was that? like in terms of like the nerve of it all like the audacity of it all like where do you think who do you think you are Mr. who do you Big think Stump? you are <laughs> i should say mrs big stuff what mm -hmm. what was your biggest trip abroad and how did you how did you come to the decision that this is where i'm going to go I think it would be that last trip I just said, like um, yeah, the that's whole a big year trip. Uh, what, last what, what made you say, this is what I'm going to do by myself? Um, one of the questions you guys have asked, like, I, I found this Facebook group that melanated passports online and just seeing all these amazing Black people talk about all the different things they were doing. And they have Blacks that live in Portugal here and there. And I saw them advertising the North Sea Jazz Festival. And so literally, I just chimed in and uh, on one of their chats. Then they started sending me information. I joined their conference calls. And we planned out, even during the pandemic, over a course of the year. And so for, for me to, by myself, never met these people, the first time ever meeting them in Portugal, um, even stayed in an air in B air and BB with one of these folks that I never ever met before for the first time. Yeah, and Teresa met them in Texas. Um, and uh, because again, just you meet no stranger, and like you can feel people's energy. And like yeah. I would say, even today, like they're just amazing, great people. And to be, I, and like when I said I date myself, I purposed on myself, I'm going on a gondola ride at night by myself and you know that is just, that was to eat gelato every day in italy and pizza and you know to be able to go in paris and walk the streets no i'm not a baller but to shop and to you know have lunch and take yoga so to, i would say that was a trip of a lifetime wow um, and to do it all by myself uh 
to learn how to take the, the trains, you know, it was do or die, as one of the folks told me when I was over there, because uh, I went by myself on the train. And it was an experience, and it's liberating. That's what I would like the word yeah. to be. So liberating and freeing to um, to be able to do something like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, That's okay. amazing. That's amazing. It really is. And here's the other caveat. I was going to say, this also all came after having a major spine surgery. So I was not walking. I was not walking for six months. I was on a walker. Oh, and no. So literally, God healed me. And I was like, God, I've been planning this trip over a year. And I was like, you have to heal me. I have to walk. And so to literally to be released, to be able to climb that castle. So that picture we're seeing, that was no easy feat. So it's great to say, yes, I have this wonderful experience of being doing all these other things. But again, we go through so much as women. You know, we're caretakers and we are providers and we take a toll on ourselves. And, and unfortunately, yeah. the COVID impacted me. And I'm not going to draw out about that, but I couldn't walk. And so to be able to go from not walking to be able to walk all these different places, because that's a lot mm. of movement from four or five different countries I'm going to. So, yeah, pretty, pretty amazing. Wow. That is amazing. That that's is. awesome. And congratulations. Yes, absolutely. Yes. What about you, Danny? What about you? What was the question? <laughs> Okay, the drinks are kicking in. And well, it is Cinco de Mayo, uh, or, or somewhere. It's it's all, it's almost Cinco de Mayo. Or, it's, 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 I, don't, I don't know. Listen, I don't even know what day of the week it is. Right. <laughs> well, it is Friday. Thank you. I know it's so. drink it o'clock. It's, it's drink o'clock. Yeah, it's drink yeah, o'clock. It's your o'clock. most amazing trip you've ever taken. The most so, amazing trip. Experience. My most amazing trip will be in Maldives solo that will be my most amazing and um that's been a bucket list and i had first i had asked some ladies that there was a young lady who had called me and said hey what are you doing for your 50th this year i'll be 50 as well i was like well i want to go to maldives and she was like well that's a trip for lovers i said well i love me shoot (laughs) okay i am in love (laughs) yes Perfect and, answer. And, Perfect and just answer. like you said, you know, being a, not being able to walk, as one of the pictures on there, you see me bald head. I am a cancer survivor. So I had went to on a in, in um horseback riding in the water in the ocean yes. during cancer. Oh, so wow. you know, I, I, it's 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 liberating, it's exciting. So this year when I go to Maldives, yes, I'm celebrating Danielle 50 years. I am yes, Danielle. Yes. I am so I, oh I, I did not expect you guys, and I did not, you know, I'm so glad that you guys shared your stories because I knew you both had a specific story and I wanted you to share it in your own way. But those are the things that create the bucket list and the list that we should never let go by the side because our friends can't go or our spouses are no longer here. Our kids are getting on our nerves. If we should, if we've been thinking about it and it's a bucket list, we absolutely owe it to ourselves. Do to get it. Out yeah. and do, it. do it. We absolutely do. No, absolutely not. And we talk and, ourselves out of, and this is, I think what, listen for me personally, you know, I have so many like different groups and they're like, hey, does anybody want to do this? And I'm like, oh, my God, that sounds amazing. Everybody want to do it. And then and then and then but nobody. No. Nobody. Uh, like, the and, and then it just falls. But I'm like, but I really wanted to do that. <laughs> Why would not you do it? But you won't coordinate it. So but you but but but. But but you guys just hit the nail on the head because somebody and you know who you are when you hear this podcast, somebody just sent a a, a clip of this uh, girl getaway for Niagara Falls. And I said, Niagara is on my bucket list. And of course, mm-hmm. you know, we're in New York is we, it's a beautiful train ride. And 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 I said, I'm but I say that's everything I'm down. 
and then that's it. It, it goes radio silence. Yeah. And then I never do it because it never, it never, you know, gets any traction. Mm -hmm. And it's like from, from talking about something to doing it, which is what you guys are doing. You know, yes. you guys have like, I, I'm sure it started with talking about a trip and then, yeah. but to go from doing, that is a huge leap. What would it you is. like, what would be your advice to people? And there are so many women who never think about traveling solo because they don't even think that it's a thing. This is not something that I should, I should be thinking about. This is not, so, I've been told it's not safe. It's not whatever, but how do you, what would you say to somebody that wants to do things but is dependent on other people in which, which you're, if you are waiting for other people, you're never going to do anything. That's right. how, do you, how do you, what would you say to these people? You know, it used to be my saying, you only live once, but we live every day. We die once. There you oh, go. Oh, yes. And that is so true. Okay. True. Yes. She understands because like my best friend six years ago died of cancer and I, and that was my saying, you better get busy living because oh, yes. you, know, Shawshank, that's her, you get busy dying. Yes. Because yes. I love it, just, it. And so, yeah, you have to yeah. live intentional, yeah. like you're intentional about everything. And I would just encourage that person start small. It may not be Maldives. It may not be Thailand. It may not be Europe by yourself, but you not at can't first. go to the next city. Go out mm -hmm. to dinner by yourself. Go you to went to Georgia. Fort Lauderdale. Yes. Do you know how big it is to go to Georgia by yourself? Yes. And for, yes. yeah, or or yes. Florida. Ain't Just start out. by the movies. Go yeah. to the yeah. movies by yourself because yeah. that's real uncomfortable. Yes. When yes. I tell you going to a bar by yourself just just because you want to drink, yep. not because yep. you want a good time, mm -hmm. it really, really, really is. I think I, I actually think Danielle that that is great advice. I think that you should actually start yes. by taking yourself out to dinner. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Taking, yep. taking Baby yourself stuff. out to dinner. Taking yes. yourself Baby to stuff. the movie. Yes. Taking yes. yourself. You don't need people to go places and do things. I think mm -hmm. that, yes, I think we have to really overcome that hurdle. We have to erase all of that messaging that we've received that, yeah. you know, we can't get dressed and go out alone. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, you can. Every day. Yes, you can. Every, yeah. You go to work. You go to work alone every day. Mm -hmm. Why true. can't you, you go? go? Just let somebody know where you're going. That's go give safe. them your itinerary. Tell an emergency plan and, and post. If you're on Facebook or, or Instagram, post what you're doing. Post where you're going so that people will know your last step if it is your last one. <laughs> and this is what it's important. This is when social media comes in handy, right? Oh, yes, my God. Absolutely. That's true. No, that's very it. true. That's very true. And the security part is very big. I think that that's probably one of the biggest things that, that hinder people from even like, nah, that's okay. It's yeah. not but safe. It's and I clear of that misconception. America yeah. is more unsafe I than agree. every place around the world. I mean, I, I hate to say it. I have been to yes. Africa. I've been to yes. Asia. I've been to Europe. I have been some places. And I feel more unsafe walking out of my house at 6 a.m. when it's dark to go to the gym than I do walking the streets of Thailand at night or <laughs> Paris at night because are even working at my school. I have more fear at a school. So again, mm, because a lot of terrible. people, a lot, of, and the other thing is the media, you can't believe everything what you read because we will sell our, our narrative and other things are not all as bad as they seem. Yes, again, some of it is true what the cartels and those things there are true, but you stay away from those places, but there are a lot of places that um, their biggest crime is pickpocketing. Their biggest crime, which is, is in like New York, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. in the New York subway. Yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 not selling drugs because 
they have when I was asking in, in Thailand, I was asking like, was the crime really bad? Because you ask the people and they say that not it's not bad in terms of you being harmed. There's more self-harm, their addiction to like drugs and heroin and, and drug addiction, but not so much as to the people, tourists. Yes, doing something yeah. to you. Right. Yeah. To your tourists. So, you just have wow. to be smart. You have to be smart. I mean, that's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. I think that that was probably the most enlightening thing that you could probably have ended this amazing show on. I mean, because people do. People think or they believe what's in the news, what they hear in social media. And it's not until you get out there and really immerse yourself in it that you find out about it. Yeah. Y'all, this has been so much more than we could have ever imagined the pictures the stories the uh the the the, the trips that are to come um it has just been amazing um and i'm thinking i might want to plan me a trip now huh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh -huh, i'll uh -huh. let y'all so know the next so trip that I'm, yes. so I'm always for a solo trip okay <laughs> well, not really solo just you know maybe we can solo and meet up there <laughs> yes okay yes. someplace in the middle someplace in the middle well let's just raise our glasses and toast to travel mm -hmm. Cheers. The world. Cheers, everybody. Thank Cheers. you all Here's so much. Cheers to travel. Cheers to travel. Cheers to travel. Thank you, guys. It has been an awesome 10th episode. Yes, this, this was great. Thank you, Sharita, yeah. for hosting today. Um, and thank you, Danny and Robin, for joining us with your great stories. And I love all the advice. Um, I'm definitely going to take, take you up on doing some solo adventures locally. Like I'm going to start small and work my way up because I love the fact that you said you're not living once, you die once. So you live every day. That's and right. that's exactly what I'm going to focus on um, yeah. going forward because, uh, you know, fear has kept me from doing that. And, you know, I, I shouldn't be because you live, you need to live every day. That's yeah. right. So again, thank you very much. This was awesome. Um, and we look forward to hearing about your travels once you go in, out in the world again. I know you're going to be traveling somewhere fabulous. I know Danny's celebrating her 50th in Maldives, but we want to hear about your, your fabulous travels. So. Yes, you guys are doing recon for the rest of us. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> We're living by for you guys. That's so right. Yes, so again, thank you and have a great evening. You do all the, do the same. Thank Good night, you. Guys.